Hey everybody, it's Ryan here. We're doing a sort of look back video, a remember video of Warhawk. Warhawk from 2007 on the PlayStation 3. I thought this would be kind of a cool idea, so uh, let's go ahead and take a look at it. Now, chances are if you owned a PlayStation 3 back in 2007, you were probably playing this game. It was one of the few good games early on in the console's life cycle. It was a multiplayer only game, and I loved it. I put a lot of hours into it. Uh, it's really awesome. It's uh, uh, basically a spiritual kind of successor slash remake of the original Warhawk on the PlayStation 1. And it was really great, you know? I mean, um, you, you're like a little uh, standard foot soldier. It was uh, There was two factions, Eukadian versus Chernovin. I'm on the Eukadian team right now. That was the blue team. And uh, there's ground combat. There's air combat. You can do capture the flag. You can do zones. Uh, you can do all sorts of stuff. Now, uh, jumping back into the game, this is a new match I just recorded, uh, really, uh, like, two days ago. Uh, this is post-commentary, of course. And, uh, you can see I just got into a, uh, little jeep, and we're gonna go drive on in. The enemy flag is all the way over on the other side of the map, as you can see. I'm doing capture the flag. When you jump back in, uh, in 2014, there's not a whole lot of people playing. I just got fucking sniped right there, as you can see. Holy shit, the only people that still play this game are really good. Um... You pick up weapons and all that. I'm holding a flamethrower right now. I finally decide, you know what? I'm going to get in the Warhawk. Now, I haven't played this game in so long, and I was never good at flying the Warhawks. So, you can see I have a little bit of trouble here. I'm like, okay, you know, I got this. And then, oh, oh, ow, ow, oh. Okay, so somebody placed a mine right there because they know that's where the homing missile is. And uh, I, I blew up. And uh, so I, I, was never, <laughs> I was never good at the Warhawk. Uh, air combat. Uh, I always like to stay on the ground. I was always a tank man. Uh, I think at this point I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna give the Warhawk another go because uh, I mean, see, I'm having, some, I'm having some, <laughs> I'm having some issues here, man. I was just not good at the Warhawk. Uh, you can see that like there's uh, there's weapon pickups. There's another mine over there. I try to avoid. I think that's. Uh, and now at this point I'm looking at that. I'm like, okay, well I hit the mine now. Surely it's gone this time. So now I'll go down there safely. And sure enough, I do pick up the homing missile. At this time, I'm at this point, I'm just trying to get a kill. I haven't gotten one kill in the match yet. Uh, I, I just hopped into the match. I'm thinking, okay, homing missile, this is a guaranteed kill. Nope. <laughs> Somebody killed me while I was trying to use the homing missile. Like I said, not good at air combat, so I'm like, maybe I should go to the tank. And the tank was my favorite, uh, favorite vehicle, my favorite sort of weapon, because it was really heavy duty. Uh, it was a very easy way to get kills. <laughs> But at the same time, you know, it, it wasn't like an OP thing. The thing I like about Warhawk is everything had its weakness. A, the tank was great for ground combat, but surely if a Warhawk finds you traveling to the enemy base, they're just going to totally annihilate you because the tank is slow and you're not going to be able to hit a Warhawk in the air with a tank. You have to be very precise with the controls. So right now, we uh, how it works in Warhawk is you capture bases. Uh, in between sort of you know all the area from the home from both home bases and then you can spawn in between those other bases that you captured for more of a you know better attack at your opponent so we've captured a base literally right next to the red base and you can see I finally got my first kill right there with the tank really look at it I'm just ooh, another guy no nah, he's gone too. fuck that guy someone over there with a rocket can't quite get him can't quite see him and then uh oh that see now this is where it comes down uh, tank a disadvantage. Oh no, people. This Warhawk is riding my asshole right now. And I'm thinking, okay, well, I gotta get away from this guy. Uh, I don't want him to kill me. And you know what? At this point, I'm thinking, I really don't want this guy to have the satisfaction. So I'm like, okay, bye. And I suicide. Because there's really, you know, what else am I gonna do? Uh, so I spawn, again, you can spawn really close to the to their base because we're, we already captured this base. So at this point, they're playing defense because uh, we're really, like, we're right up on them. You can see I'm on a, a, some dude's jeep, and I'm actually, he's driving right now, and I'm on the, the minigun. And he actually stopped to let me get that kill and finish that guy off. I don't know why I got out of here, by the way. That was actually really bad judgment on my part. But it was a really, really awesome multiplayer game. Like, it took a lot of teamwork. You can see we both got killed by a tank just there. Um, I, dude, I, <laughs> I love this game. Here I'm, I'm working with the sniper rifle a little bit. Uh, this was a gun that was really hard to use. I think this is the only kill I got in the match with a sniper rifle because I'm making, you know, cuts and jumps here to more uh, notable moments here. Uh, I got sniped a few more times by the enemy team. They're moving too quick. That guy's got a, uh, that, that guy's got a rocket. Yeah, so see, we're, see, we're at their base again. I'm, I'm thinking, okay, well, we got a tank in here. We got a Warhawk shooting. They're right in their spawn, so I'm like, okay, I'll go get the flag. That guy dies. 
I got the flag. Oh my god, I've got it. I've got it. I've got it. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Nobody can stop me. Uh, yeah, I, I'll tell you what. I got stopped. Bad. I got stopped by cancer. That's not cool. Cancer's really bad. Uh, so I'm like, okay, I'll go back up there again. Warhawk, I mean... Yeah, I put a lot of hours into it. It really does take a lot of teamwork. It really requires teamwork. If you're gonna go up there and try and get the flag, uh, good luck. And the thing is, if you go, if you jump back on in 2014, not that many people are playing, only the hardcore people are playing, but only team, only, uh, capture the flag matches are left. That's all that's left. That's the only thing that people play. So I couldn't really try any of the other modes that the game used to have, like zones or, uh, I don't even remember the other modes. It was just zones, team deathmatch, your standard deathmatch. There was something else I could capture. There was like a, a mode where you could like capture cores or something. There was three cores in the map and you had to go capture them and bring them back to your base, but... At this point, it's all about capture the flag, which is fine because I love that mode anyway. It was all anybody ever played. I tried to run over that guy. That didn't work out too well. I'm going to go get the flag again, thinking, okay, no one's going to... Yeah, yeah, someone did. A tank. There's a tank there. That's an issue. So they got good defense, but the problem is, you know, we got a, the spawn right near their base. So they really got to take over the, some of the new bases so we can't spawn there anymore. And it's, 30, it's 32 players, so... Uh, a lot of people going on. You see there's a lot of action going on. That's what I liked about Warhawk. It was really fucking fierce, competitive. There was a lot of action. There's just a lot of shit always going on. I got fucking flamethrowered right there. Um, which is always my issue with most multiplayer games nowadays. I don't like multiplayer games that have really huge maps, and it's really hard to uh, get right back into the action. Which is why, uh, you know, you know, like for example, Call of Duty gets a lot of hate nowadays. But I enjoy Call of Duty because when you spawn, you instantly know where enemies are. You can instantly get back into the action. And it's a little bit fast paced. For me, at least, that's what I prefer. And Warhawk made it so you, so it's a lot of players. It's big maps, but no matter what, when you spawn, chances are you're going to have some action in the next couple of minutes. But it's not to the point where uh, the veteran players can wipe you out that easily. Certainly, you can live for a little bit and pick up all the weapons, kind of get used to everything. You can see I'm in the Warhawk right here. I'm giving it another go. I remember how to boost the Warhawk. I'm thinking, okay, this is really going well. I'm right next to their base right now, and I'm trying to, like, let, lay some mines down or something to try and get some foot soldiers. And uh, I don't think I did... Yeah, I, I don't know what I'm doing right here. That didn't work out too well. Then I'm like, okay, I probably didn't lay anything down. I didn't get a kill or anything. I'll loop back around, try and set something there. I don't think anything worked there either. So then I look around, I'm like, okay, well, what happened? Oh, I set a mine. Yeah, see, that didn't do much good. So I'm still trying to recoup here, still trying to figure out what I'm doing. And then, what do you know? Yup, yup, another enemy Warhawk taking me out. Missile uh, gets locked down, there you go, and I'm out of the air once again. That's pretty much how it always went down whenever I got in the Warhawk. Again, I was never good at aerial combat. But like I said, I love Warhawk because you need a lot of coordinated teamwork. That guy on the left just repaired his tank. We got two tanks going in. We got a bunch of foot soldiers going in. And we're ready to kick some ass. Now, uh, this specific footage isn't good because we're getting our asses uh, quite kicked pretty pretty damn well. In fact, I'm the only person uh, left on this bridge. And then I'm like, okay, well... Blech. Yeah. That yeah, usually also happened to me a lot. Ironically enough, I never got... I've never gotten a kill by running over somebody with a jeep, and that's what I needed to, to, to rank up. Last time I checked, my rank was actually pretty low in comparison to how many points I had, but you also need to complete some medals in the game to rank up as well, and I, didn't, I never got the kills with a 4x4 weapon. <clears throat> or kills, kills with a 4x4 medal. So now we got a bunch of people over there, we got the flag, we're having some troubles, but I tried to get that Warhawk with the tank, I was pretty close there too. I just, I really enjoyed this game, and you know, it's a damn shame that it really never, um... I, oh, double kill right there. I think I got another kill here, too. Bam. See, I, <laughs> the tank is all me. I'm all right with dying every so often from the random Warhawk that wants to take me out, but, man, the tank was my go-to weapon for providing defense for my boys down down there trying to do some work on the flag. And uh, I think we do end up capturing it at some point. I, th I do know that we win this, this match. I just really enjoyed this game, and it certainly was active for a while. It had three uh, uh, downloadable, three packs of downloadable content with extra maps and uh, extra weapons. I think it was, yeah, this game got jet packs at one point too. That was really fun, and the trophies for this game were uh, were fun too. But the trophies for this game incredibly hard. This is probably one of the most difficult platinums uh, on the PlayStation Three by far. Requires like it requires a thousand air air to air combat kills, a thousand kills with a mine, a thousand kills with this weapon, that weapon, this weapon. You need to be the max rank. It took forever. 
Anyway, guys, this wraps up this little uh, look back video, remembering video of Warhawk. If you like this idea, because this was just some random idea I had when I decided to play Warhawk again, I decided to record my footage and then post some commentary, and then here it is. So if you like that idea, let me know. I'll do this again for, for, uh, for other games. Anyway, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in my other videos.